morning class. Today, we're going to do a hands-on experiment. I ask that everyone participate. I'm going to ask a question. Listen, do not speak, just answer. The instructor asks, do you think that you can change the world? And the classroom falls silent. No one moves. But then, hands speak from mouths that know not what to say. Half are dreamers. Yes, the rest make me wonder. No, are we not worthy of a world worth fighting for? Is there not a mountain we do not hope to climb? Are we all nothing more than dreamers trying to dream our way out of dying? See, I said yes, but I understand where the rest are coming from. We all know the feeling of feeling insignificant, uneventful as if we were born to die like cattle that are raised for slaughter. And it isn't too far-fetched to argue that many feel like they ought not change the world, that it's better this way, that people have a predetermined place that they should get familiar with. But mama raised a dreamer and a bold one at that, so forgive me if I have trouble sitting still in these seats. Forgive me if I struggle to see my future in the face of adversity. Forgive me if I long for a brighter tomorrow, something worth fighting for so you can keep your settlements. I'll take my dream and run with it, and I don't have much. But I have a body that I'm willing to sacrifice for this cause. Two lungs and a heart whose rhythm lets me know that I can still do it. No matter what it is, whether it's getting the girl or saving the world, I am a soapbox savior with more questions than answers. I don't know much, but I do know this. I know that there is no book on happiness, so write your own. No no passion without pain, be it mental or physical. No causes without purpose. So find yours, tell me. Tell me where you'd be if you held on a bit longer. Was letting go the right thing to do? Was giving up worthwhile questions, doubts? We all have them. I'm not good enough. I'm not proud enough, brave enough, loud enough. I don't get out enough, enough with the excuses. You see, we're only given so many hours in a day. Do not spend them thinking about all the ways in which they could have been used more effectively. Just use them. And if you stumble over your spoils, then you're using them effectively. See, failure is a part of life. Change never stemmed from a quiet face. So be loud. Live like you're dying tomorrow and you woke up late today. If you aren't leading a perfect life, you are entitled to change it, shift it, renew it, pursue it, do it. Change the world, my dreamer. Rage until you have nothing left to give. Trust the process and set sail into your strongest wind. Let it guide you. Forget the stars. Be the waters rough or not. Trust that you will get where you are going exactly the way that you are supposed to. And the world will be yours for the taking. Take it. And do with it what you will.